oh shit. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'll make this one shorter. Sorry, y'all. Welcome to a brand new episode of Speaking Easy Podcast with Tuck and Will. Sorry about that. My fat fingers got in the way of the soundboard here. But who cares? Hey, Just an man. intro. You've heard it before. Yeah. Remember when somebody got mad because I was talking in it? Yeah. <laughs> somebody <laughs> cr- critiqued you talking during the Don't intro or us talking. Talk it. during the intro. I was like, Just oh, let that shit. intro roll. Well, I'm sure they love that one. Because <laughs> 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 that was rough. And I, it would have been easy for me to reset it. I could have just hit stop and then restart again. But you know what? It's organic. It really is. This is real. Just live life on the edge. You know what I'm saying? This isn't uh, produced, per se. Just let life happen. You yeah. know what I mean? Let life happen. Anyway, good afternoon, I'm already, Will. I'm already poured. You already poured? Will yeah. already poured. So what we're going to do, I want to take a second for everybody to uh, uh, grab a drink. Grab you a glass, grab you an ice cube, grab you a bottle, grab you a beer, whatever it is. Grab you some milk. Grab you know? whatever you grab. Grab whatever you grab, you know what I'm saying? And uh, let's listen to what I grab. I don't grab. think it's going to be good. You don't think it's going to be a good Mm-mm. one? We got to start with the cork pop, y'all. Even though I'm not even really trying to drink, but I'm at least going to drink a, a one drink in honor of the podcast because I can't go mm-hmm. out like that. But man, dude, this weekend. Whew. Yeah, I, I, I told you. Man, it, it snuck up on me. Next thing you know, I I had two nights in a row where I like got down, like like old school. Yeah, not really. When I say that, I'm like, no, <laughs> we're talking yeah. seven <laughs> beers total. <laughs> <laughs> that was like at nine thirty normally. <laughs> yeah, but they were heavy though. They were heavy. That's all you need to know. These beers were heavy. It was probably more like eight. But you would drink. You would. We would drink stuff like that before we went to the club. Yeah, yeah, but it, I, you know, that hey man. I'm still recovering from. It hurts way longer now. These, they were just heavy, high, high ABV. You know what I mean? Like me and Katie were talking about that. How we used to drink. You know, you could drink, you know, six pack, eight beers, something mm-hmm. out of, of 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 like a uh, Coors some, Light some or whatever. Light. Yeah, but man, we out here drinking. We drink Real three of these beer. things. We drink three of these things, and she likes these IPAs that are high IBV. So yeah, you drink three of them, boy. You feeling all right? You know, <laughs> for real. And uh, it's nothing like drinking eight cores. Yeah, I, mean, I don't even drink that stuff, but every time I do, I feel them. Yeah, and then and then uh, I did that on Friday night. We went to a couple breweries. Oh, this could be a recommendation. Uh, oh, went, yeah. went to High Wire for the first time on uh, in the Highlands, right there where Phoenix Hill used to be. Well, oh, shit. You know, they rebuilt that whole section, mm-hmm. the iconic Phoenix Hill Tavern. Well, we could have a whole podcast about Phoenix Hill Tavern. Uh, but they, they built, uh, you know, like a strip there of condos, and at the bottom there's, like, storefronts. Mm-hmm. I, never, I haven't uh, seen the storefronts yet. Yeah, they're all, like, in there. There's a Goodfellas Pizza in there, and there is a, uh, a High Wire Brewery. It's really unassuming. Like, you just see, like, a little, they're, like, you know their um, fluorescent light hanging in the in the wind front window, but you go in there, it's pretty big, man. It's pretty big. They had a lot of cool stuff in there. They had a dope ass beer board, kind of looked like old school movies, mm-hmm. like you know. And the beer was good. I'm not even gonna front, man. We had a few of the beers, and they were pretty good. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend High Wire. That was on Friday, and then on Saturday, me and Katie went out and saw a bunch of the old school homies at the. Uh, the Dukes, the the Marmadukes. Uh, some of you are familiar. You probably heard that, heard about that here. Marmadukes Bar Room, um, and uh, we went out there for uh, the homie Byron Banks that's been on this podcast before. Mm-hmm. Uh, his uh, girlfriend Jessica was uh, having a they were having a surprise birthday party for her, and uh, it was themed as prom night. And a bunch of people came dressed up as like the same style as they were for their proms. We did not because we didn't know we were going to be able to go until we asked you. I asked you the day before if you Mm -hmm. guys could watch our kids. And uh, I was watching all the Bebe's kids. Yep. And uh, it actually, we didn't, you know, we kind of threw some like old 80s swag on, but or 80s and 90s swag, but we didn't really have any of the. No, y'all looked cool. Y'all looked 80s. Yeah. But, no, or you looked 90s. Yeah, we looked 90s. And, um, <clears throat> but everyone there was, and that's when the prom was, when I went to prom in the late 90s. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mine was 90s. And, uh, and 
Yes, but so we didn't really fit with that, but there was a lot of people that weren't. So it was really interesting and awesome to see some of the people that I saw there. You know who I talked to? Mm-hmm. You remember Jamie McGregor? No, I'm sorry, not Jamie McGregor. Okay, yeah. Shout out Jamie McGregor. Uh, Jamie. I know who you're going to say. What's his, how, I just say McGregor threw me off. Kirshner? Yes, Jamie Kirshner. Yeah. Dude, he is a comedian. I went to school with him. Dude, I'm telling you right now, he walked in. I looked at Katie. I said, the funniest dude I've ever met just walked in. And I probably haven't had a real conversation with Jamie in like 10 years. He was a baller at Atherton. Oh, he was a baller. I played against him. Bro. Yeah. He played, and I basically sat the bench. Yeah. But I watched. Yeah. And Wayne Van Dyke. Yeah. Oh, uh, Dude, Wayne was yeah. my homie. I know, I know. I, Did I you was, know this? I was friends with him. Wayne was my homie. I played on his three, yeah. his three and three team. I remember. How was he? Well, how I've was talk, I on his team? I've talked to him on the internet. Look, about it. that's where that came from. The turkey. Wayne, Wayne Van Dyke was on that team. We went to Mazik together. We were pretty tight. Damn. Yeah, that's tight. But you know what? We're kind of talking about. No, but yeah. Yeah, I just of, had to say that. Yeah. No. Hell yeah. No, I'm saying like I just we're just talking about people we know to our li- listeners, and we're like, who cares? Hey man, they were cool uh, people. But nah, dude. So look, I'm gonna tell the listeners. I met this guy. Not met him. I've known him for 20-plus years, but Jamie Kirshner, man, he wants to come on, Will. Let's do it. I think he should come on, and yeah. I want to film it. It'd be fun. And just have some drinks and just chill and just talk about random shit. Yeah, man. Some people are naturally funny, even My guy in was situations killing me. like this. When he walked in, I told her. I was like, watch. And I had no idea. We, we said something to him at first. He didn't really say much. He just kind of said, what's up, this and that. Dude, by, by, had to get a drink. By, that's exactly what he said. He said, I'm going to go get a drink. Dude, by the middle of the night, he had both. He had our face hurting. That's funny, dude. And I wasn't even asking for it. Yeah. He just started just just talking and like was killing me. But it was his timing. He's like a comedian. Yeah. He really is, and I don't even know if he knows it. Um, I'm sure he does. Um, but anyway, I hope he hears this. Shout out to Jamie. Oh, Marmaduke. I don't know if he's ever listened. I, I think he did say he listened to the Byron one. But anyway, Jamie, we gotta get you on, man. You know what I mean? Come That'd out be here. Funny. That, that would be great. Um, but anyway, so I told I a couple up, people like, uh, "Yeah, Tuck went to Marmaduke's," and they were yeah. like, "What's that?" I was like, "You, you don't know where." It yeah, is. dude, in the, right there on the bar is still a signed poster and a picture frame Are you of Hillbillies. Yeah, cool. From where we signed it like fifteen Didn't years ago. Didn't used to be on the jukebox there. Yeah, it probably, right. I didn't even look. Yeah, I didn't even check. But I, the poster is still right there where it was at. Right there at the bar had everybody's signatures on it. It was yeah, cool. It was in a frame. We just go there and hide out. Yep. Actually, I was telling Katie, she's like, how many times did you come here? That's what she said. I was like, honestly, I didn't come here a lot. I don't, maybe 10 times, 15 times I went in my more life. Than you probably just because of Dylan. You guys always went. Yeah. Remember we were talking about? I just, I wouldn't even go there. Yeah. I'd stay down well, there. Well, you'd stay at the studio. That's what we were just talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I'd stay at the studio. Everybody we would, would just leave. leave your ass. Go to the bar. <laughs> y'all come back. Motherfucker. People Crunk. hammered trying to drop verses. 100%. It would happen all the time. And you're just like, oh. They were always throwaways. I got to the point where I knew they'd walk in. I would just lie. I'd be like, yeah, it's recording, bro. Go ahead. They just would record, think they're recording. (laughs) Demi Demi was the worst. Oh, bro, I know. He was the worst. When he would get drunk or hammered, Mm -hmm. dude, it was was unusable, just garbage. Me and you have the unique... uh uh, perspective to that we both lived mm-hmm. with Demi. Yeah. And he would listen to it and be like, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the fire. <laughs> listen to it the next day, like embarrassed about it. Like Cause just, you know, how, it just erase it. Yeah. Because like if, it, when he's like in the zone focused and like really recording, he's good. Really oh, good. Yeah, I know. But there's like a, yeah. so he thinks he, that he's like boosted, you know, <laughs> there's a level of, over here is of when you're buzzed. Like it's dead. That is real. Oh my god, that's like, a real thing. It's a line, and you're yeah. money. Yeah, like better than you ever been. Yep. And then it's over. Once you cross that threshold, you yep. can never go back. Yep. That's de- that's dead ass right. Yes. And I've the thing seen, is, when I've you cro- it. when you when you were in that one when you were in that one zone for just that period of time for yeah. like them thirty seven minutes, you just managed to stay in that little. A lot of our songs came from that, that. little section. Like but as soon as it comes out, you still think you're there. Yeah, no. But you ain't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I swear, people don't realize that most of our songs came from that line. Yeah. Uh huh. Everyone would it's get a nice buzz. You know, uh, you know, you you know when the sun goes down and er, the golden hour, mm-hmm. all photography looks good. Yeah, it just looks great. You can take a picture of anything and it looks amazing. There's like a small window. Yeah, yeah. It's like maybe like a thirty minute window. That or was something. us. We made music. Yeah, 
Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. You're either way too on. And then by the time it got to the, we were out of it, we everybody just went to the club. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Listen, cork pop, new riff, y'all. It's a single barrel. Katie got me this a while back uh, from The Breeze. The Breeze is, uh, I believe, a like um, a liquor store type deal in uh, uh, Logan Street Market. Hmm. I they, like that place. Yeah, I do too. And they handpicked this this barrel, and so they got this bottle. So here we go. Let's listen to the cork pop. Mm, Ooh. Not bad. Better than I thought. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty, that pretty some, solid. Yeah, that was, you don't need to repeat. Yeah, that's pretty solid, man. Uh, well, so what am I even drinking? I know it's New Riff, but single barrel, it's a... Uh, oh, it's bourbon. All right, I'm trying to see if it's bourbon or rye, because they make a good rye. Yep. Uh, which I need to get some of that. Oh, I didn't pour it in. Actually, that's all I'm going to pour. What would you get that other day at the liquor store? Oh, I got uh, Dickel, George Dickel. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I'm going to pop that one soon. So next time, maybe this weekend or next podcast, I'll pop the George Dickel because I'm not going to hoard that one. Mm -mm. I just want to drink it. Um, All right, man. So before we get into the podcast, y'all, let's talk about uh, some shout outs real fast. Um, I like to do them at the beginning, not the ending. So this week's shout outs we we got Zach Utley. Is that how you spell that? Or how yeah, you pronounce that? Utley? Utley. Yeah, Zach Utley. Uh shout out to you for listening. We appreciate your uh input and opinion. Uh Tom Walsh, shout out to you. You've been a long time listener. I know. I actually see you out sometimes, uh, and you support a lot of things we do, so we appreciate that. Um keep listening. I know that guy. Uh throw any Ideas our way. We're always open. Uh, and Joe Maddox. 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 Yeah. That's my buddy I work with. Joe Maddox. He's always supported it. Joe M- M- Maddox. Yeah. 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 He hit me up the other day and was like, man, I'm glad you guys are back. Yeah. He he, he was saying something. I just know. If I, if somebody says something that is just like, oh, that's cool. You know, like these people are listening and supporting. Mm-hmm. Then I'm going to put them in the shout out for yeah. that week. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, yeah. Shout out to you, Joe. Man. Keep killing it. Keep Building them cars, building them trucks. Making America. Yeah. And shout out to Ford. All right, man. I guess we're about to get into this thing. And <clears throat> obviously, uh, what, what's the date, Will? Uh, it's on the uh, 28th. Uh, what is it? 28th. Oh, yeah. February 28th. So in just a couple hours, it'll be March 1st. Yep. So, um, yeah, just, just to date this, if you're listening to it in the future, yeah. Uh, for what we're about to talk about. So, what, five days ago, six days ago? About that. Russia evaded Ukraine. I don't know how we could have a podcast and not talk about it. But luckily for me, <clears throat> or um, I guess, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that I don't know about a lot what's going on. I don't think a lot of people do. I think people are educating themselves right now on what's actually happening. Yeah. I really don't know much of what's going on. I, I it's not okay. <laughs> you know, I know that they don't want them there. Yeah, it's like pretty much unprecedented for something like this to happen. This is like in, oh, it's scary it, now. Yeah, do you think that in twenty twenty two that a country can just invade another country just because? Yeah, I mean, like that's what I like. It's all it's always been something that's been provoked here's, before. You know what I mean? Like a they started it type thing. Yeah, and then they start war, but this is like just. We're Just, gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna come, take you. Or, we're gonna and I, I guess because because Ukraine used to be a part of Russia that they feel like they can take it back. Mm-hmm. Is that what it is? I mean, it was thirty <clears throat> years ago, but yeah, they were part of you. They're still salty about it, I guess. Because I mean, you gotta think like uh, at one point, I'm pretty sure that Kiev, the main city, used to be the capital of like all of Russia. Oh, really? Back in the day. So, what was the? Do you know how it became not part of Russia? Um, the USSR. When it got dissolved, they mm-hmm. some st- some like little uh, some places became like uh, free. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they they won their independence instead of joining Russia. Like I gotcha. they they broke off and became yeah. their own independent nation. Yeah. So thirty years ago, that's when it happened. Like in the night, like early nineties. Mm-hmm. That's when Ukraine became a its own country. It's just so weird to think about that actually happening because it think about you hear people joking about California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. branching off. That would be what it would be like It'd like be, Texas. Yeah. starting their own country. And we hear that, but how realistic is that? You know, I don't no, think that'll happen. 
Not for I don't really think that'll happen. I mean, maybe in the future. Because you got to think, like, I mean, Ukraine and Russia, like, their history is shared. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, I'm just trying to figure out. They're basically fighting each other. Like, that's what's crazy. Like, Russia is killing old Russians. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, they used to be. that. Those people's grandparents used to be Russians. Yeah. And they're just fucking throwing tanks at them. Yeah, man. That's Yeah, I saw some crazy stuff, yeah, man. It's rude. They don't like, want them there, uh, you know. Like, and I'm sure sad. there is parts of Ukraine that do, do want Russia. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. that's that's natural. Yeah. There's there's going to be, you know, like disagreements and fucking mm-hmm. half and half, and people mm-hmm. want this and people want that. But I was yeah. like, I was telling my buddy, I was like, they, they if they want to have a civil war, do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't just, from what it looks like to me on the outside is Ukraine doesn't want to be Russian. Mm-hmm. Or they wouldn't be in the streets fighting. Yeah. Um, you know, it makes me it makes me wonder. Um, it, oh, right now, you know, we live in America. Can you imagine uh, being in a country where you just know that the country next door can come in and just Bro, blow your whole shit up? Talking about today. That like- that that makes me feel. Uh, I don't know what the word is about about being American. Like, yo, like I'm lucky. Yeah, I know we're people, lucky we were born right here. People always say that shit, but like blessed. Yeah, like we're lucky, bro. We're blessed yeah. that we're like. Think of, I saw a bunch of uh, Ukrainian fathers and and mothers. Mm-hmm. They would they had to go give their kids away. Yeah, to ship them somewhere safe. Yeah, you imagine taking no. our kids Hell somewhere no. and saying. We're going to stay here. Yeah, and you're going to go there. Good luck. And whatever happens, happens. I might not see you again. Yeah, probably But you're going to be safe. Yeah, that's... I was like, dude, I don't think people realize that. That is... That is the definition of desperation. Yeah, and love. Like, I mean, that takes a lot of love to be able to do that so much, to have that power and be like, I'm going to make the decision. Yeah. I'd rather you be safe and live... And accepting their own fate yeah. at the same time because they know if that's it. They don't want to, because something could happen and they all die. Yeah. And like I saw a bunch of uh, like signs people were holding and someone was like, uh, if Russia loses, they go home. If we lose, we lose our country. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. where they're at. Yeah. Like, they don't just lose the game, their country's gone. Yeah. That's like, it's over. It, 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 they're a part of another country now. Everything changes for them. You're, you're, we swallow you up. Yeah. Just Man. wild that that's happening you, you now. You see the Klitschko brothers out there fighting? Yeah, one of them's the mayor of Kiev. Yeah. Uh, Vladimir. Vladimir. Yeah. That's and did you see, I don't know, I, I wrote it in the notes. You see Lomachenko? Uh-uh. You know who he is? Uh-uh. He's a fucking one of the best boxers in the world. Oh, yeah. The, I know exactly. Vitaly Lomachenko. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's there, too. Yeah. I, I was exactly like, they got three of the best boxers in history. In their army now. Damn. And, like, what's cool is those three people are all millionaires. Yeah. They could be on any beach in, a, in the world. Yeah. But they chose to go and fight for their home. Yeah, can you imagine having to make that decision? No, One I mean, day you're chilling in your country, you know, running your t- or just being. Or fucking wherever they are. Yeah, and they just, oh, now oh now I have to fight. For, my, to, for my homeland. Yeah, and knowing you're fighting a superpower. Yeah. Like. I wonder what's gonna happen, man. It's they're honestly, man. I they're doing so much better than I thought. Cause I mean, it's a it's not very good odds. Yeah, what's gonna happen? But I mean, is Russia there, is. Is there some other countries gonna have to get involved? Is this about to be a world war? I think so, but because uh, the like way the way I look at it now is like Ukraine has already won mm-hmm. so, some aspect of you know what I mean like they're. The, their view of the world like the way the world views them yeah they've already won mm-hmm. because they have shown nothing but just pure grit and determination and just i mean the most symbol like they're they sim- symbolize what it means to have pride in your home patriotism you know I mean? patriotism yeah and, they're all heroes yeah and then like russia has lost because they yeah. look so bad yeah everyone is against them they're getting ostracized every Aspect, you know, they can't even fly in other people's airspace now. Yeah, they're shutting them down. Like you can't fly. They can't go. They can't do banks. They can't 
They're out of everything. Like, and there was a bunch of sanctions put on them yeah, from America. Yeah, all the sanctions are everywhere. That's going to kill them. But they were talking about, apparently, they have some kind of bulletproof economy or something. Well, yeah, we're going to well, see. The, yeah, we're they're going to be on their own. Yeah. Because, I mean, now, honestly, they're, I was telling my buddy, I was like, this might be the first time a country has been canceled. Yeah, it really is. They're, they're shutting them canceled. down. They're out of the World Cup. They said they're going to be out of the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Like, you basically, have, if you want to be a Russian, you have to stay in Russia. Yeah. Well, hopefully, it just doesn't, like, Hopefully, I, I don't know what the definition of sanctions is. Hopefully, it's something that they can gain back. And when I say that, I don't, yeah, let's cancel them, whatever. But what happens if we back them into such, a, or if we corner them? No, oh, they're cornered. Yeah, Right, but legit. Cut them off from every aspect. I know they are being cut off a lot of ways, but like literally cut them off mm-hmm. from everything. And they're just, they're existing where they're at and that's it. What do you think? You don't think they would take some drastic measure? Like I know, but like nuclear. I, I was my buddy said that to me today, and I was like, "Well, it, it, that's not gonna make it better." Like if they drop a nuke somewhere in in the in Europe, mm-hmm. like what do you think we're gonna just take everything off? Like it's gonna get worse. Yeah. I think the only way to get out of this is to not do that and act actually become a human again, play ball and like, you know, what I mean, act right. Don't yeah. just withdraw. Oh, Everything will Russia. go away. Yeah. They're not going to. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, if you want things to go, you want sanctions off. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Withdraw. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I know. And I'm, they're not. Like, they're not. It's going to get worse, bro. I know. And they, they're they now blaming the sanctions for starting World War Three. They have said that all these sanctions that were getting put on them and everybody's coming at them is going to start World War Three. Mm. And I'm like, no, that's... That's you, a result of what yeah. you did. Yeah. That's a reaction. Yeah. Well, you started World War Three. Yeah, for sure. And they're trying to blame it on the sanctions. Like, like but no, but uh, I I do know that all the European Union, the UN, everybody is is arming all the countries around Russia. Damn, dude. Like Pol- we just sold two hundred fifty tanks to Poland. Yeah. Like everyone around Russia is getting all the supplies. Ukraine's getting supplies like we're basically pumping Ukraine up to where they almost can't lose you know what I mean yeah like because the UN's not directly allowed to fight mm-hmm. because Ukraine isn't technically in the UN mm-hmm. but the UN can help give you I wonder why Ukraine wasn't in I don't know I really ha- I've tried to look some of it up but I do you think dealt- there's been Russia bullying behind I mean, that? that too but I mean I don't I don't know if that I don't know if they knew that if they did join you in that Russia would be pissed. But so, now they uh I saw last night Is that night, one of the reasons they're pissed? What them joining? Yeah. Oh, no, that's why they're invading. Oh, over the UN? Yeah, cuz they don't want a UN a United Nations partner in their on their uh the border. So they're trying to get out in front of it. Yep, and, and take it now. Just so take they, it now. I'm and like, they 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 warned Sweden and Finland if they do, if they join too, they're coming after them. Oh my god! And they're and they're our friends. Like, and I think all of them now are going to the. Uh, this shit is crazy. I think. Uh, I think last night or two nights ago, um, Ukraine did an emergency bid to join. Like they want to join now. Yeah, of course, of course they do. Yeah, I mean, think about that. You'd have the fucking United Nations. If they if they get in. There's going to be a World War Three. Yeah. Like, United Nations is set up. I don't know how it works. There's I don't know if of, that means you defend. If Yeah, it's a rule. Yeah, if you have to help have defend. To. So that sounds like, like a, a World in, War Three recipe to me. Yeah, if someone invades France, we have to go. Mm-hmm. No doubt. No questions. Yeah. It's like a there's a thing you sign in mm-hmm. the deal, and yeah. that's one of them. You have to help each other in, so in times of war. So France the United Nations? Yeah, France, Germany, all the... All the big players, Japan, Japan's England, a, yeah, Canada. Russia's not. Russia's not. China's, China's not, not. North Korea's not. Ooh, scary shit. It's fucked up, man. Can you imagine if Germany, China, and North Korea formed a separate United Nations? Yeah. Germany's with us, though. That's what was, um, Oh, did I say Germany? Yeah, I mean, I Russia. mean Russia. Yeah, yeah. But uh, how funny is it that Russia and J- Japan are like, or not Russia, but Germany and Japan are two of our biggest friends. Yeah. And that's what that was World War Two. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shit changes. Like Japan and, and Germany are like two of our closest allies. Yeah. And they were the biggest enemies in the world. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. And now we're like, hey, we're going to fuck them up. Y'all coming? They're like, yep. Is Mexico you. in the new United Nations? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I mean, fuck, who knows? I don't think anybody would fuck with Mexico. Yeah, I don't think it. I they, think they know America would smash Well, and Mexico did. has their own goddamn. They got Their cartel would beat some countries. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I wonder what would happen if somebody, if, like, Russia was like, you know what? We're going to come fuck Mexico up. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what would happen. They'd get murked. Yeah. They would get murked from all sides. Um but isn't that funny? There would well, never be that problem. United Nation has 193 members. Oh, countries? Yeah, that's a lot. Damn, who is it? Can you say the countries? Just like the top? Yeah, I'll look at the top. I didn't know it was that fucking many. Jesus. Yeah, I thought it was just like some superpowers, but shit. I'm trying to find a list. Um, I don't know, but I think it's pretty dope. That uh, the Klitschko brothers were out there swinging it and banging it, you know. What yeah, I mean? man, that's really cool. Uh, but that that got me thinking about the draft. Oh my god! Obviously, we're too damn old to be drafted. Uh, <laughs> but do you think uh, they're are they drafting over there or or is I it think just, it's over there. It's required. Just pick up a gun and walk out on the street, or what is it? They're uh, who are you talking about? Ukraine or Russia? U- Ukraine. Ukraine. There, uh, there's a line. Of people volunteering. Yeah. Like everyone in the country is down. Yeah. Well, China is in it. China, France, India, United States, Israel, Australia, Egypt, I wonder, Australia, Iran, Germany. I wonder if there's different... Uh, Canada. Levels to it. Like, I mean, some of these smaller places, are they sending... Who are they? Where are they sending? China's in it? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't think they were. I mean, maybe they are. But, you know, these pe- these countries all the time do shit ag- against the the, yeah. the UN thing and can either get, like, penalized or kicked out or something. There's punishments, but it's they don't get kicked out, you know. They probably get kicked out for war, obviously. Yeah, I mean, if fucking Russia would be kicked out. Mm-hmm. But they ain't in it. It's just scary. All right, what else we got? You want to keep talking about the, I don't know, we got Klitschko. Oh, the nuclear war. How 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 realistic do you think that is? I mean, I don't think it's too, I mean, because, I mean, if Russia did something like that, they know how many countries around them have nuclear power. So, I mean, like, well, it's a, you'd have to have a death wish. You know well, what I mean? I mean, what if they do? That's what I'm saying. If we back them into I know, a but corner, like if what you, do they have to then lose? You're, then you're never getting out of that corner. It's over. The whole world's over. It. Are, are you that mad to where you want the whole world to be over? Yeah, I mean, I really think that that's a, a, a thing. Man, I just don't know if anybody's that crazy. Because, I mean, at this point, it's not like us dropping it on Japan. You know what I mean? When we did. Mm-hmm. I mean, we did it. We're know, that crazy. We did it, but we knew it wasn't coming back at us. You know what I mean? If we knew when we launched that it would come and hit America, I don't think we would have done it. Like, if they launch one, we know it's coming, then we're going to launch one at them. So, Yeah, I mean, I get that, but I feel like, you know, there's a, there's a point where it turns a corner, you know? And, and I think we were saying it wrong. It's NATO. NATO? What's yeah, it? that's what, that's uh, the members. The United Nations is different. Okay. Well, of course, don't don't come to us for factual yeah. information. It's the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. There you go, NATO. Don't come to us. Yeah, Look here right. For your news, I right? come here to United have a Nations, drink. Nations, all of them are in it, like Russia and everybody. All right, ha- come here and have a drink, yeah. and uh, just listen to some bullshit because that's what you're getting. But yeah, they're not. <laughs> Na- they don't want a NATO country next to them. I get it. That makes so much more sense, and that's the ones that are like sh- armed to the teeth. Mm-hmm. How many are in that? What, NATO? Yeah. Um, Canada, Croatia, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Czech Republic, Denmark. Um, couple more. All right. I mean, it's not as much as the United Nations. The United Kingdom, Poland, there Norway. You there you go. Italy, Netherlands, Luxembourg, Iceland, all that. United States, Slovenia. Japan, Spain, Turkey. You gonna say Japan? Mm. Yeah, I don't see them. I don't hear Japan in there. It's all right. Who cares? Um, 
But yeah, I mean, it's just really crazy that shit's happening in 2022. I know. Isn't it weird how it's following this weird trajectory? <laughs> how do you say that word? Trajectory. Yeah, trajectory. Um, it's it's weird, you know. Uh, we had COVID in 2000. We had what? Uh, what, what was 2021? What was that representing? 2020. I mean, we had COVID. 2021. That was a year. What was that a year? Oh, that was like a real year of COVID. 2021. What do you think? What? Oh, yeah. That was the COVID year. Like, it started in 22, but shit really got difficult in 2021 because it was just a part of everyday life. Uh, I think it's over. I mean, the way it's looking, it is. CDC done. Yeah. Said that uh, you don't have to wear a mask inside in some places. They're pretty much everywhere, didn't they? Yeah, but I think Jefferson County is not one of them where we live. What do you mean? I think if you, there's a map. Oh, it shows like the red or the... The risk factor. Yeah, but it says like, yeah, man, nobody's doing that. No, anymore. where it's over. Well, how long, how much longer do you think Ford's going to wear a mask? I don't know, man. We were talking about that the other day, at least till we're in the clear. But they follow Detroit, so... Oh, really? Yeah, I think because, I mean, Detroit's our whole headquarters, so mm-hmm. I would say we'll... We will like stick on a little longer than we should. Yeah, I think I truly think y'all come up. But like other big companies, like General Electric and stuff, I got yeah. did away with theirs. Oh, did it? Yeah. I know. Uh, I know that my kids are no longer wearing masks in school. Yeah, which is. Great. I know. V- v- Vinny was the only one in the class the other day that had one on. Oh yeah, because he was not. Just because. No, I mean, he. he I think he went because he had like a cough. Yeah. And they were like, "Fuck." Yeah, we felt bad. Yeah, like damn, the kids got the only one in the mask. Yep, that's what the kids. But they just I was. Out. We were going in a store the other day, and I was like, we all got our masks, and I was looked at them and was like, I ain't wearing this. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm done, bro. Yeah, no, I haven't even had. I was like, this is that was two years of my life where I was pretty solid. Yeah, I didn't fuck around. I wore a mask everywhere I went. Yep, and I'm just over it. I'm way over it. I'm done. If I like look, so you know the outlet malls by by our house down mm-hmm. here. Uh, <clears throat> I had I was just because I wear all my pants out because I just wear them too much. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna stop in here real quick. I got a second before I pick the kids up from school. I'm gonna come here and get uh some uh some pants or whatever. And um, uh, where was I going with that? What, what kind of pants you get? I didn't get pants. Oh, I tried to walk into a an H and M. Yeah, you know, whatever. They got cheap shit. Some of it's all right. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna walk in H and M. I'm gonna walk in H and M. See, see if they got some pants. You know, because I got a specific type of pants that I like to wear nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, right there on the door. Mask only. Mask only. I was. I went to reach for the door handle. I read that and I was like, I'm good. Went to the next place and they were. No one else had it except for them. You know, and I bet they wouldn't care. But I want to be respectful. Mm-hmm. If people ask me to. I do, and I have no problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, uh, you know, I'm not trying to cause a problem. I'm just trying to come in. But if I got the choice before I walk in, I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't want to come in there that much. I went to my bank, and it had that sign. Mm-hmm. Nobody in there had a mask. I know. I've been seeing that. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. You motherfucker. Y'all got me, damn You lying motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to add about the Ukraine I mean, situation? I just keep, keep it posted, man. I like watching yeah. it it's so fascinating well i feel like i know more about it i mean you know uh, I, life is so busy for some people you know that i feel like i'm not i'm not keeping up with it the way i should i feel like a bad uh I'm, human yeah like i should be more invested in it and i i know, I know roughly now i know what's going on but and, and i know that i don't support it or whatever but man i feel bad that i'm not like emotionally attached to it yeah because people over there suffering you know i know that russia was trying to they i think russia wanted to win in like uh two or three days yeah and like they're making it way harder on them i wonder how many civilians have died not many but there has been has there been some i wonder how many of the soldiers have died if they the death count's not really uh out much that's what i'm saying i feel like how would you know yeah how do you know the actual death toll of of war, yeah. How will you uh, ever? Know? Well, there was a rumor going around that uh, Putin had a mobile crematorium. No, yeah, I swear to God, bro, what? to where he could just uh, cremate bodies as as it goes. 
Are you serious? I don't doubt that for a second. It's saying 644. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Civilians. Oh, this is... It looks like... uh, Where's John when we need him? 644. Some people have died. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah? Yeah. That weren't dead before the shit started. <laughs> had nothing to do with it. That just were trying to chill, you yeah. know? Did you see that fucking video? Of that tank, Ukrainian. Yeah. Tank run over that dude. Yeah. He's alive, though. Oh, he did live? He lived. They p- pulled that motherfucker out. Was he injured? I mean, who, had, who pulled him out? The people, the Ukrainians. Who ran his ass over? The Russian? Russian tank. Man, I hope they blew that tank up. To <laughs> He just ran him over and then backed over him. Like, what a dick move. <laughs> like, does that make you feel good? Man, there's some. What weird did you shit. gain from that? I, and I did hear that uh, there was a bunch of Russians that are going that went there that didn't know they were sent to kill. You know what I mean? Like uh, Putin didn't. Like their mission isn't clear to them either. Oh damn! It's like, just like they took. I heard they took their cell phones right before they went, so nobody. You know what I mean? It's almost like they're just sent to do a mission, and they didn't even want to. Damn, dude. Because I mean, you seen how many Russians were protesting. Oh my God! Can you believe that? Like, and, you gotta have balls, bro. And do you know that it's gonna go on their record permanently? Yeah, bro. They're, like a felony. Type all the motherfuckers are on a watch list now. Yeah, and it's gonna be really hard for them to get jobs. Yeah, apparently. they're all traitors. They got arrested. Any of them that get arrested. It was like sixteen hundred people got arrested that night. Damn. Just protesting the war. Yep. Like that's when you know you don't live in a free country. Yeah, and you know most of them and most of the people in Russia are still pro Russia pro whatever they're doing to ukraine i would say the majority because that's all like y- the youth uprising against yeah. it that's kind of like you know overall trump supporters here it's like you know think about all the republicans here you know mm-hmm. so i'm um, and no way am i comparing republicans to that i'm just saying like the 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 demog- the the group of people there's like a larger group of people that are going to be um uh, they'll see that job application. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, yeah. oh, this person was was arrested. At, yeah, he was pro-Ukraine. Right. On this job app. Yeah, or however. You know, there's some way they'll be able to just mark it and they'll yeah. know what they have it for. You know, and they'll be like, nope, sorry, you're not hired. Well, You know? I saw a lot of the, that's what I was going to say, think of when I saw a lot of ugly-ass people talking, using this time to to push their, idol, uh, you know, their political agendas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because of, one or the other, they would like. I saw people blaming Trump, blaming mm-hmm. Biden for the war against Ukraine <laughs> yeah, and Russia. That's so stupid. I was like, shut the fuck up, bro. Yeah, yeah. It isn't about Democrats and Republicans right now. No. This isn't uh, like we're so fucking self centered that we're going to think a war in Europe is about us. Yeah. And that somehow the, the world it, does not exist for us, bro. And somehow it has something to do with you being Dude, a Democrat or you being a Republican. Biden ain't leading us right. Look what's happening, bro. I mean, y'all miss him yet? I know it. Y'all miss him yet? No, actually, I don't. Like, bro, it doesn't matter <laughs> if Trump or fucking <laughs> and Obama or fucking Biden Bush, ain't gonna do nothing. None of them are gonna do anything. Like, yeah. this ain't got nothing to do yeah. with America, bro. If if Trump was president, we'd be in the exact same situation. Yeah, he might. I told somebody he might send troops to fight with Russia. No shit. No. You shit. don't know, bro. It's not on his Twitter. He would post like a picture of him shaking Putin's hand. Bro, he like, said, "I do what you gotta do." He said this. <laughs> he's told he, dumbass. He was quoted saying that the invasion was genius. Mm-hmm. So there, that's all you need to know. And I don't doubt that for a second. Yeah. No. So is anyone surprised? So don't think your fucking dumbass political side is uh is better or worse because of this. Yeah, like get over yourself. It's not. It has nothing to do with you. It has no. nothing to do with Trump. It has nothing to do with Biden. No. If either one of them were in office, nothing would change. Uh, no, bro. Just get over it. Quit using stuff for just to uh, push who right. you want as president next. Right. And just know that this, what's happening right now, is only going to worsen prices and all that stuff yeah. in the long run. And everyone will blame it on Biden. Yeah, 100%. But not not, bring, not uh, bringing up the fact that there's a legit war going on and it's going to affect all kinds of yeah. shit. Like, I don't know how much stuff we import from Russia, but I would imagine it's a lot. Do you, I know it's gas. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's stuff we import. They have a shit ton of... Uh, Oil. Yeah. 
and that's probably going to go away. So it's going to make whatever the fuck we get from them yeah. harder to get and make the supply shorter. Yeah, I was saying, whatever. if anyone gets anything from Russia, it's not coming. No, not at all. Or Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. Ukraine, um, you see, I sent you that a long time ago. It was like a, Ukraine is a v- vast uh, place for resources. Oh, like sure. all kinds, dude. That, that that's probably motivation for Russia. That's too. another, yeah. It's another yeah. reason why Russia wants them minerals. Yep. yep. Snag it up. Yep. Crazy. Yep. I mean, it's weird. We'll um, we'll be talking about this for a while, I think. Yep. Uh, hopefully, uh, that that president's a bad motherfucker, Zelensky. Did you see, we offered to take him out. Mm-hmm. And he's like, "No, I'm nah, good, bro. I'm dying here. I just need ammo." Yeah, he, said, he said, "Send guns, send yeah. ammo, send guns and ammo." Uh. And then shout out to my man Elon Musk. Did you see what he did? Yeah. Starlink. Yeah. What's they that? So that's the satellite, that's the internet stuff. So now they all have Wi Fi everywhere. Everyone has internet there. Yep. Genius. They asked for it. Yeah. It was like the ambassador to Ukraine asked mm-hmm. for it. And you, I like that Elon straight up just answers. I know. He doesn't have to go through a bunch of red tape. <laughs> give, he me a, give me my phone. Yeah. Okay. What y'all need? Oh. Oh, it, y'all need the satellites? Okay, up. cool. Well, let me check the orbit. Uh, it's cool. Up. So, yeah, they could be there probably about seven hours. It's so, up I right mean, now. Yeah, it's good. Actually, let me hit a button. Boop, you're good. You're in. He's like, actually, I just we're did just it gonna, from my phone. We're just going <laughs> to stop over Ukraine. Yeah. We're, you're good. How dope is that? Yeah, like, he's a bad motherfucker. To be that powerful yeah. and that, like, like he's changing, you know, the the whole game. Yeah, I like that. I really do, man. I think this is a huge for Ukraine. Like a lot of the world is supporting watching them. them. Yeah, yeah, and offering support. Yep. You know, I, I I honestly wish we'd do more. Like I was gonna say, how much support are we actually offering? I mean, we're we're doing as much as we can without going to war because mm-hmm. we have to tiptoe around Russia, right? Because of World War Three. Right, so what happens if it gets really bad over there and Russia really starts flexing its muscles? Russia does not like that we're helping. Let's be honest. If Russia wanted to squash Ukraine, they'd be squashed. Yeah. But they're not. They're just, I guess, doing the bare minimum, it almost feels like. Do you think, am I like no, off that, base? No, that's what they're trying. They're trying to... They're just doing enough to annoy them. Well, and, they're trying to do... They're trying to send their the least amount of shit, yeah, and conquer them, yeah, instead of going full full bore, yeah. But, but if they wanted to, yeah, if shit could, got down to they it, they could destroy the whole city. They could just steamroll the whole yeah, country. They're and not even like sweep everything out of the way. And yeah, they're not even using over. their good tanks or the big bombs yet. That's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah. So you know, they're having some planes blow up some stuff, and they really just want to take it. They don't want to destroy they it. Destroy it. They want it. Yeah, yeah. They want to just convert it, everything, to, turn you know, it into their cities. It's there. It was theirs. Yeah, they built half of it. Yeah. Damn, that'd be crazy if they legit roll up in there and just like, all right, cool. It's cool. all gone. Yeah. So, all right, bet. Uh, <laughs> this is how it is now. Y'all yeah. are Russian now. Yeah. So, I'm going to need everything Ukrainian uh, destroyed. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so report to work on Monday morning. Yeah. Y- you know. <laughs> You're now in Russian army, thanks. Damn, that is crazy. Yeah. And, and what... What point do is there a point when the US gets involved? What if Russia starts just obliterating, obliterating uh the whole city, all the cities? Like I know they're like tactically well, doing it right now. What if they're just like, all right, cool, bombs. Like bombs. big ones? Yeah, like we're mother of all bombs. Because right now they're Moab. Because right now they're like uh they're saying they're claiming they're not trying to hit civilian targets and buildings, which obviously they are. Casualties of war happen yeah. everywhere, every war. But they're attack. I wonder what they're attacking, like important areas, I know they took political Chernobyl. buildings, you know, s- specific things like that. Um, at what point do they? What is there a line that they cross when other countries get involved? And what's messed up? I mean, if I was Ukraine, I would be scared to death because I'd be like, these countries ain't gonna help us. They're, yeah, I think there's something that like there's that could be considered war crimes. They're they're helping us, but. Are they really helping us? Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, we're giving you stuff and we're telling you we got your back. But what happens when Russia really turns up the heat? Do we? That's have what back? I'm scared of is that Ukraine's wiped off the map, mm-hmm. and all this is for nothing because mm-hmm. we just and like is what is that? Is that what's going to take? Like in the, like, it, 
what if? And then what's next? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and then we just watched a great nation go away. And then we, we just, just like, sat all right, cool. On the sidelines. Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah. Is that we're just gonna go back to being? Yeah, and I thought we were like the people who fought, like stood up to bullies. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, and I look to me, it's rushed. That's a bully move. That's what they're doing. They're bullying them. What would a war between America and Russia look like? I mean, I don't think it would just be us, though. That's where, my point. Where would it happen? There. In Russia? Yeah. It's not. We're not. They're not coming here unless they. Uh, who says? Like how? They can't even get fairly to Ukraine. Why you say that? I mean, the, where are they going to? Because of the water. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Where are they going to go? I, I don't know. Like I know there's like if you look at the Alaskan side. Of Russia, which is far oh, as fuck. They're not doing that. I'm they're saying, not coming through Alaska. They're only they're 55 miles away from America. Yeah, but yeah, that's different. It's like, a whole other. That's it, a whole different terrain. Yeah, it's, you can't. You can't drive a fucking. Get, you can't nah. drive a jeep through that shit. But or, they can't get planes there. Oh yeah. I mean, you can fly straight through over Russia or over into Alaska. into Alaska yeah, into America. But still, I don't know. That doesn't. Our scare Air me. Force is pretty badass. I'm not. Yeah, but, that doesn't scare me at all. No, that's what I'm saying. It's going to happen in Europe. And to, not to mention our allies. Like, if we go to war, it's never going to be just us. That that might be another reason why they're why they're so against the NATO country next to them. Yeah. Because if Ukraine was a NATO country, we could just fly right in there. Set up shop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and if they fuck with, NATO, uh, fuck with Ukraine at all after that, mm -hmm. they got Britain. They got everybody, dude. France, Germany, like... Uh, Everyone near them is coming. Mm -hmm. It's too close. Yeah, so I like see they're what getting, you're saying. They're, well, trying, they're getting ganged up on by the, the EU. Mm -hmm. They don't like it. If, dude, but... And now Sweden and Finland. So, I mean, boom. What if they just... Yeah, I mean, so legit, a um, what that would look like as far as them taking... Uh, uh, invading America would be them like having to take some air force base or something with their planes and land and try to there's no way it would happen no. like is that how it starts I mean do you see uh, war, I don't know how like you much you know about World War 2 but like even Germany took almost all of Europe you know what I mean and they mm -hmm. wasn't they wouldn't have been able to come to America mm -hmm. at, at the point they were I you know what I mean? You. Yeah. They would have had to take England. There was just land that they could They had they had moved all the way to the to the uh west. Like they I mean they they were at France, they Germany, like Germany yeah. had taken all of it. Yeah. So like they were already they were on England's doorstep. Mm -hmm. And if they would have taken England, yeah. then they could have went to America. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure they can get their fucking submarines and shit like that there, but Yeah. Like to land troops is going to be rough. Well, but I mean, you don't want to come here, bro. Everybody's got guns. No, nah, bro, it'd be bad. Literally, be everyone bad. has guns. We don't need to get them from our government. All right, like let's. In, <laughs> I'm gonna switch the topic. Uh, we're gonna lighten it up. All right, Will, can we lighten it up? Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I feel better about that conversation. I need to have about seven more of them, which I'm sure we will. Uh, about till I get it's on. It's gonna the same be page. unfolding every week. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. But something I want to talk about real quick before we uh, pick a topic. You see where I wrote on here, Country Club and Costco? Mm -hmm. Bro, if you'd have told me 20 years ago that me and you, listen, y'all, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I come, from, I come from a place where if you got a Costco card, you were rich. Bro, I'll tell you, honestly, <laughs> straight up, I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I didn't even know what Costco was. Until when? Until I moved in next door to you. Oh, my God. You just didn't? You, you had no idea? never item. fucking had a clue. Yeah. Now, now, what do you think about it? Uh, I'll never go anywhere else. It's important to you, it's isn't bad it? It's <laughs> that's, badass. That's a membership I'm never losing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was I, straight Kroger all day. Yeah, me too. Me too. You know what I would do? I would... Uh, I was the worst about buying only what I needed at the moment. Oh, 100%. Bro, I would buy the dollar toilet paper. You know what I mean? I would buy uh, 12 garbage bags. You yeah, know? I never would do it the I would same buy way. These <laughs> I would never buy in bulk or like plan for the month. Yeah, I would buy the bare minimum, bro. Yeah. I'm buying one paper towel roll. 
You hear me? <laughs> one. That's the type of shit that I did. I'd buy one bar of soap. One Kleenex. One everything. That's I had too, nothing bro. extra ever. That's hilarious. And I lived my life that way. Thank God for Katie, bro. Yeah, right now we're over here buying fucking 25. Now, dude, if I go reach in the cabinet for anything, the shit is just there. Yeah. And shout out to Katie for that, man. Yeah. Amanda That's a and Katie, beautiful thing. Amanda and Katie are gone off Costco. That's a beautiful thing, man. Look, I'll go. I'll reach down in my, uh, you know, underneath the, the the bathroom sink. Be thirty seven toothbrushes. Yeah, I got toothbrushes until I turned <laughs> yeah. fifty, bro. You're like oh, I used it once, throw it away. Yeah, like I'm good. You on could them. be that dude. I could. If there, if anything compromises my toothbrush, the shit goes in the trash yeah, immediately. T- it fell on the floor. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> Marshall used it. Throw it away. Yeah. For sure. Uh, but, yeah, man. So yeah, we got fucking Clorox wipes upon Clorox wipes. Like, yeah. just in, in old, unopened boxes of shit. Like, bro, I, I've been I've been annoyed the last couple of days because we actually ran out of dish sponges. Mm-hmm. And she buys bulk dish sponges. I'm the dude that bought one and wait until it turned into a... Fell apart. I waited until it turned into a shriveled up piece of mildew. Yeah. With grease on it. Before I threw it away. I was like, all right, this thing is stink. Like, I can smell it when I come in the house. <laughs> Bro, Costco, man. You, uh, you, you'll be, you don't be getting those... <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all don't be getting those rotisserie chickens, do you? Yeah. Those are drugs. Oh, yeah, the chickens? Yeah, man. Her fire. It's mm-hmm. like $3 or something. I'm like, what? Yeah, she'd be pulling the chicken off there, throwing it in everything. Me too, dude. That's yeah, it goes do. in all kinds barbecue of shit. Barbecue chicken, we make everything. You want barbecue it. chicken? Check. You want chicken alfredo? Check. You want <laughs> chicken everything? <laughs> yeah, I'd be, uh, it's, it's been pretty fun because I've been doing the shopping. You know what I got? I got that black card. Oh, shit. What you does that do? Hey, let me show you. You know what I'm saying? I got that Costco executive joint. <laughs> what do you get to do? I have no idea. I don't even know what it does, but I know I know Katie forgot her purse yesterday, and I got to pull this bitch out. It was like, excuse me. <laughs> Who you get to skip line, look, bro? Look at that. What do you do? Uh, look, Costco executive member. I look, need to know. I got the color picture. I need to know what the Do you got a color picture? I don't think so. You don't have a color picture. I don't know though. You ain't got this. What? What's? What's? What's the difference? I don't know. Hey, some about some. See, talk, make me feel poor. The, hey, go go fuck yourself. Oh, you got the color picture. Let me. What well, you got the star? What's that star? What the fuck is that? I'm a gold star member, you bro. Really, go you really got a star in there? <laughs> no, nah, my shit's the jam. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Get that shit away from me. <laughs> Am I better than you, bro? Don't be hating. I got to do some Googling yeah, after the we, show, y'all. Will might have got me. <laughs> yeah. I got a gold star, bro. But no, yours look legit, bro. Like yeah, It's a black card. You look like you could skip line. Yeah. Like they got a separate line for you. Yep, they do. But anyway, who would have thought? Yeah. We had Costco. And, and we just joined a goddamn... Don't don't say the name of it though, because I don't want. This is not a recommendation. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep your country club to yourself. Yeah, bro. And I don't know. Is it actually a country club? I don't know, man. Or is it a tennis club? I think it is a tennis club. Which is even crazier and, yeah. and more hilarious. It really is because we have no business, none at playing all, playing tennis or being I'm not near tennis. tennis. Yeah, you know. At one point, I was good though, but uh. Uh yeah, so we're part of that. I, it's like a it has of, a pool. Yeah, we're part of it because of the. But pool. if you told me I had a membership to anything, I'd be like, Nah, don't. No. Nah. Mm. Twenty years ago, I'd be like, Nah, you tripping? I'm I not, don't. I've never, never been a member of nope. anything. Nah, I'm good. Nope. I definitely didn't pay for it. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, I'll go with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> on Saturdays as your guest, but that's it. I'll be your plus one. Yeah, but I'm not gonna have any of that. Yeah. But nah. yeah, I can't wait. It's fun. And now we both do. I just think it's pretty funny. It's weird. And pretty full no, circle. Nobody would have thought. And pretty full circle. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, I've never in my life thought that that would happen. Uh, and you know what else? You said uh, tennis. Uh, it made me think of, dude, we went to uh, a place here in town the other day, Malibu Jacks. You been there? 
I know, but I've, I know what it is. Dude, it's crazy. Like, for kids, it's a legit indoor theme park. It, they changed it. They moved it to the the Walmart on Hurstbourne Lane. Shut down. They put it in that whole building. It's shit's wild. Um, real dope. Real, real dope for kids. Like, mm-hmm. I was in that bitch having fun. Like, there's a lot. There's a roller coaster in there. There's legit rides. It's this indoor theme park. There's real rides in there. You serious? Just so you know. And a lot of dope arcade games and stuff. But anyway... Dude, listen to what's happened the last, like, four times me and Katie have played uh, the basketball game. You know, like the one that's in your basement? Mm-hmm. We call it Pop a Shot or something. I don't know. You know where you shoot, the, yeah, yeah. you shoot the balls at the basket, and it scores you. Yeah. She beats me every time. Are you serious? I'm dead ass serious. Oh, I'm not going to lie to you, but me and Amanda, Amanda have a real healthy competition Yeah. of who gets the high score. Yeah. Sometimes she gets it and you get it. I mean, no, I got it right now for a while, but she's trying to beat she it. She tries to think I lie every time I do it. Like you, like touch it or something. Yeah, and I have to take a picture of the score <laughs> and send it. <laughs> and she's like, "You cheating, bro? Yeah, you're fucking. You look at you all close to the rim. Yeah, it's uh, hilarious. <laughs> but no, nah, she's she's beat she's beat me like the last four times. And dude, I was on fire one time. The last time we just did it, I was like, I hit like 15 in a row. And you're like, I got her. I was like, there's no way. I was like, and I, like, I could feel her vibe from next to me. I'm like, she's not hitting these things. Nah, I'm good. I'm in here. She beat me by four shots. That's hilarious. Dude, she smoked me. <laughs> and and uh, I was like, she now she thinks she can beat me in basketball. I'm like, yeah, there's way more than shooting on this little two foot rim. I'll block your ass. But just like, you know, get out the way. Here, let me score his point, you know? But who knows? I, I want to play her. I want to play her for real. Because, you know, you, I used to. I used to. Uh, block the shit out of her, bro. I used to, uh, you know, they call me a uh, playground legend. Look at bro. this trophy over there. I mean, look at the trophy. Look at it. Shout it's, out to it's, Wayne. It's literally traveled. That's from the late 90s. That's from the mid 90s, bro. That's like 97, 96 right there. Bro, there's uh, something about when uh, my little boy Vinny's six years old, and mm-hmm. when he's down there shooting, Yeah, everything in me not to just swat his shit to the other side of the... Dude, I put the rim up in the kids' room. It's, it, why is I'm, that so fun? Bro, I'm throwing that shit through the, through the wall. I do it like every one out of four shots I'm blocking. Yeah. And he's like, what? what? Yeah. I was you, just like, you I have couldn't to. help it, bro. You have to. It just felt good. Every time they come in my lane, I'm throwing it so Why far. Why is that so far? Mason gets so upset, he's damn near crying. <laughs> but I can't help it. It's like, you come in this area right here, <laughs> this shit is getting tossed. It's like a dad thing. You're like, I'm blocking you, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, so. I'm the king right now. Like <laughs> I'm swatting it. Like, if the NBA had to pick one of us in this house with a gun to their head, they're picking me. Like, they have to get good enough to where that don't happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you, you got to keep getting good enough. To where I can't block you. Yeah, and you know what? I'm really... That's funny you say that. Because Mason, he's eight, you know, and he's long. Yeah. He's athletic. Just his athletic side is starting to come out more and more. Okay? Yeah. He's really starting to throw football good. Yeah. And uh, he can kick and stuff. He was out in the backyard throwing football. and I mean, he was throwing the football. It wasn't like a... Like if Marshall throws it, there's still that youth in him like Mm -hmm. the kid in him like he can't really figure it out he kind of throws it yeah you can tell that one day he'll be able to for sure but like mason's chucking this thing yeah like to me like and getting it to me every time like his depth perception is right yeah he's throwing spirals so so there's that and uh he's fast like i I think i talked about this before i told you he we did an obstacle obstacle course in the backyard and he beat me on the time but it's because I had to go up the uh, this little rope thing, and I'm too big to climb under. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, the I know Mason's fast. Yeah, I had to climb up under this thing, and it t- I just was too big to get in it. But he still probably would have beat me. He's fast. <laughs> he wants to race me. And I want to race him, too. I'm just You're waiting. Like, I'll be like, I got away from my back. You know what I'm saying? Like I got to feel good. Yeah. Summertime. Can you think, can you think of it? <laughs> yeah. Summertime. Yeah, me, you. Summertime. I'm getting you, bro. I'm gonna be a statistic. I'll be one of those videos where I fall frontwards on my face, yeah, trying to stop. He, once he beats you, I'm just you. too old and stiff, and once I keep going beat, forward. Once he beats you, it's over. It's over. You never race again. I think I could get him right now. Yeah, I, I do too. I think I could get him, but I don't know. 
I can get Vinny right now. Vinny's fast, but I can get him. You can get him. I juke the shit out of him. Yeah. It's so fun when I juke him. He's just like, yeah. it doesn't even comprehend a juke move. Put it this way. He's gotten so fast on me that if he did beat me, I wouldn't be surprised that an eight-year-old beat me. I would not be surprised because he's gotten that fast. So uh, I think when he's like 12, he'll definitely smoke oh, yeah. me. He'll smoke me. When we're 12, we're fucked. As soon as he gets like the first little peak of of like uh, puberty, mm-hmm. like he's going to smoke me. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like natural steroids. Yep. He'll be like, boom, done with you, <laughs> old man. <laughs> <laughs> no more blocking yeah. him. See this youth? <clears throat> He's going to be doing fadeaways on you. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I don't know where I that... I don't even know how we got on that. I don't know, but I like it. I like when that happens. Well, you pick a topic. What do you want to talk about? Because a lot of these are your topics. Well, I mean, the, well, this weekend's coming up. Who? What? Colby Covington and I'm Jorge excited. Masvidal. I'm so excited. That's going to be a good fight. I'm really excited, and I don't think there's a human that I've disliked more than Colby. But, I mean, he plays it Covington. so well. I know. He's he's great for what he does. Like, there's some people who are such a good heel yeah, that you almost end up being like, eh. Like, that's how he is to me. I get it. I hate him. I genuinely but hope he's I, not really like that. I like He's not. He already said it. I know, but I don't. I don't believe that. Like, but he was about to get kicked out of the UFC and was like, fuck it, I'm just going to be something. Yeah, I understand that. But I think that's it. that shit is in him. Yeah, it probably is. He's, I think he's it's really so good at it. I think he is uh, exaggerating it just a bit, but I really think he yeah. is that. But I'll tell you what, what, he's fucking good. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Like, he's he as much as I want him to suck, yeah. he does not. You know, dude. Like, you know that... Uh, when he fought Usman is mm-hmm. when I realized how good he was the second yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, first of all, make no bones about it. The man is, is blessed. He's gifted. Yeah. And he would snap me like a twig. But, hey, that's what we do. We talk about him. Yeah. Masvidal you know? is a good matchup for him. And what's crazy I hope Masvidal wins, dude. That they used to be really good friends. That's even more cool. Yeah. All the grudge match, it's there. The, I believe that. That's know. real. Yeah, he didn't pay. No, the they were really or, cool at one point. I believe Jorge that he didn't pay his bills. He, that's what I'm saying. He just seems like that type of person. He does. He's just like fuck you. I'm gonna do whatever I want, and I really believe that that's in him. So I don't like him. I don't. Like, how bad's it gonna be when if he starches fucking Mazadov? I mean, I won't be surprised. <laughs> And then we have to hear it. Oh, God. I hope he just gets put to sleep, dude. But <laughs> I don't see it happening. I His mean, jaw, bro. If Usman didn't knock him out, I don't yeah. know many people are going to knock him out. Yeah, I don't either. But, I mean, Jorge's landed some bombs. Yeah, he has. I don't think, I don't think in that fight that uh, Usman landed any solid shots. You know what I'm saying? He didn't land a, a shot that put Usman to sleep. Did uh, didn't Usman? I mean, I mean, Jorge to sleep. Usman didn't land a shot on Colby. No, not like that. That's not what like I'm saying. That. Usman knocked Jorge out bad, right? Yeah, dude. Probably it the worst knockout ever. One of the worst, like one of the most, the most iconic, cleanest punches you could punch. Like so perfect. Yeah, it just he was asleep before he hit the mat. Oh yeah, he knocked out. He was knocked out before he could even get close to the fall. He didn't. He had no idea what happened. That shit was so quick. He didn't even. That's what's crazy. That's how good Usman is. Jorge is good, but he was not prepared for that lightning strike. Mm -mm. I don't think it means it was almost like a fluke hit, too. Yeah, like, I wonder what happened if they fought fought again. again, He wants to fight him again, but I don't think Usman is going to fight him again. He might one day, but what do you do when you're a champion like that? That just wins and defends your title so many times. Do you just eventually give up or just walk away? You have to do the Khabib thing. That's what I'm saying. I almost feel like I, if I nobody like, takes it from me, you how have many to. times it could be defend his title? I don't know. I don't think it was a whole lot, but I don't know. I I I got a bone to pick with Khabib. Good luck. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking about as far as his career and people calling him the goat. I don't think he's the goat. I feel like a lot of his wins were crap, and like the the wins towards the end of his career were were. All, Epic, obviously the best out of the best people in the division. But I feel like he, I feel like he got out too soon. Like he he should have fought probably three more fights before he was the goat to me. He should have fought some more up and comers. You know, mm-hmm. there's plenty of up and comers, and he just was like getting out before him because he just washed 
the dude, you know, the dudes at the top. But I mean, there's a lot of young guys that are, that that potentially could have got at him. You know, who could be? Yeah, man, there's, I don't know. I know, but how do you know then? I don't think the way he fights. I don't even think he needs to throw a punch to beat you. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, oh uh, man, he he's he's great. Like I really don't think I think he could beat everyone he beat without throwing a punch. Yeah, I don't know. How is that even possible? That's why I'm talking about his style. Next level wrestling is unbelievable. To where he's so good at defense that he can't let you hurt him. Yeah, and as soon as you make one mistake, he's on your back. Yup. And then you start seeing the fear that was like in Connor's eyes. Yeah. Like, oh, I was yeah. scared that shit to death was for real. Him, bro. Connor thought he was going to die. <laughs> Legit. Uh, you see, I wrote Batman Returns on there. On our well, notes. Yeah, I didn't know what it was about. You had no idea what that is, do you? It, it's about nothing other than a poster I saw <laughs> with Batman Returns. And that's the one with Michelle Pfeiffer. Mm-hmm. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito yeah. as Penguin. And, uh, yeah, bro, that's the best. Yeah, that, it was good. That's the best Batman movie. All right, fight me. I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, dude, there's, that's, I think Michael Keaton's in the new. Not as Batman, though, right? He's in the new Flash. Oh. Really? I think it. there's two different Batmans. That's weird. I think, and I think it's uh, Ben Affleck, and then the other one is Michael Keaton, if huh. I'm not mistaken. Michael Keaton is a Batman right now? How old is he? He's old. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's Batman. What are you talking about? Mm-mm. He was Batman. Mm-hmm. He, so in this reality, it's in the future. I got you. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess he's still Batman. Still uh, doing his thing. I understand. I understand. But um, Batman Returns, tell me a better Batman. You had the penguin down there in the lair. I remember everything about it. I remember yeah, all the marketing. Down there in the it. lair. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> penguin lair under the building. Yeah. Where they had like a press He was a conference. good penguin. He was the best. He was the best. And uh, I remember all the little McDonald's uh, marketing that came out for mm-hmm. it. Mugs. And that's when, isn't that weird how, I, how I, that's like a memory I have? You, you know, were like, associated with McDonald's marketing? Back in the day, if if the movie was big, that you were getting that shit in a Happy Meal. And it oh, was yeah. on your cup. Remember, it was on your cup. For a while. It was on... Your wrapper. Yep. It was on the Big Mac box. It was on the little pieces of paper that they put on the on the tray. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like a little tray thing. <laughs> I remember back when they put, uh, who was it? Um, Larry Bird and Jordan. Remember they were all over it? Yep. Every single fucking McDonald's thing you saw. Yep. You remember the Flintstones? Yeah. They did a whole Flintstone campaign yep. where you got the glass cups that were like shaped like logs and shit. Man, those are the good old days right yep. there. <laughs> Shout, Shout out to, to McDonald's. McDonald's. Oh, my God, we're twins. What was you, what are you supposed to say, Jinx? Jinx. Shout out to the dollar menu. Fire. We've talked about that so many times. It got us through, bro. It did. Dollar menu got us through. I'll take a double cheeseburger right now. I would. I actually, you know, I, I pride myself on eating healthy nowadays. Um, and Tell me y'all didn't get nothing bad on the way home. From where? From the other night. Or what, any time this weekend. No, we actually didn't. We didn't. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> That's some shit you come on back. But here's what we did do. Pull over. Oh, yeah. We're getting Taco Bell. I'm pretty sure when we left the Pull last over. place we were at, I was like, let's hit this white castle. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Yeah, I was. I was like trying to get white castle. She shut it down. Oh my God. She's like, no, we'll just eat when we get home. I'm like, man, let me get one of these chicken wing sandwiches. <laughs> Come on, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about white castle? I don't know. Bro, I'm but drunk on the same the way, bro. Like, I don't even drink soda anymore but man let me pull up with the buzz to white bro, castle on a saturday me four cheeseburgers at one in the morning and a chicken ring and a and a large big red yeah i'll have to be have to give get me bigger. all the ice in the whole building and i need dusseldorf and, mustard and a large big red yeah yeah how much you want seven hundred dollars okay <laughs> okay here you go you take checks yeah, I'll give you whatever you want right now. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. You know what? Shit sound good right now. It really does. I want some White Castle right now. I want four four cheeseburgers 
And then a, a chicken ring, a fry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You remember back in the day when you would get cheese fries and they give you the little cup of cheese that was like not even hot. It was a live cup of cheese. Not not now they give you like one you peel. Mm-hmm. Right. It's yeah. Peel and then now. Back in the day, it was like a little white cup that you would get like ketchup in, but it was white with cheese in it. And half the time, it wasn't even in the in the yeah. cup. It was just spread all over your fries. It had spilled out the cup. When they started doing the fucking the cheese cup with the fucking, the, you had to slide the plastic. Yeah, the, it was always not even hot. Oh yeah, no, no. I was like what the fuck? Yeah, they changed that. That hurt. Why are you gonna do this to me? That hurt. Yeah, I still ate it, dude. I remember the old White Castle on Eastern Parkway before I mean, it was before where, the one. I just before the one now. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, my grandpa took me in there when I was a little kid. Yeah, and I used it to was, watch them. It was there until like, and everything was silver. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it looked like a spaceship. I can still, I can remember what it was laid out like. Me too. There. That was my great grandpa that took me there. Yeah, and hey, I used to I, watch them make the sandwiches right in the window. Yeah, sit around. Damn, we gotta go to White Castle. Right, and you know what? I don't think White Castle are everywhere. They're not. They're not in every state. No, I think they're just in this region. I know, and if when you go to Tennessee, they're uh, crystals. Crystals, yeah. I still ate that shit too. Yeah, it ain't the same though. No, I mean it's it's in the same. It still hit the same drunk spot. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I remember one time we went there when we were on tour. I think, yeah, don't were think you I in like, there? I think so. Don't they got chicken sandwiches? No, bro. Let me tell y'all something. I. I I am pretty much infamous for being a picky eater, right? Like people know, like people oh, close yeah. to me know how picky I was, because I've come a long way. Oh, they you know freak this out, myself, bro. If they tell you now, like I eat everything now. I'll try anything anywhere. I was talking to Katie about that the other day. That that I'm so mad at myself that I didn't appreciate food more. Yeah, you know, like well, me we me, me and you are a lot of like in that way. We were just stuck in our ways. Yeah, we liked what we liked, and we didn't want to yeah. fuck it up. Right, but dude, man, like. Well, I'm going on a tangent here, but hey, this is natural, so let's I think just keep it's, uh, going. Our ladies, uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. There's a there was a restaurant in town called Butchertown Grocery, and I'm upset that it closed. I'm upset, like they closed down during the pandemic, Damn. and they were supposed to come back, open back up, but the the chef that was like involved in it took a job in another state and just kind of left. I don't know the whole story, but. I mean, as of like six months ago, I was like sending messages on Instagram talking about when's it going to open back up? And he's like, oh, it'll be soon. And then just nothing. Uh, His name's Bobby Benjamin. I was going to try to have him on the podcast. That goes to you. He, dude, this restaurant, it was expensive as hell. It was pretty expensive. But nowadays, I call it expensive. I think it was. You know, it's, you know, a burger's like $30 or something. That's expensive as hell. Yeah, that I know, but I'm saying like, you know, there's different levels. Mm-hmm. There's some, you know, you're going you're gonna to spend $80 on a steak or something or $60 on yeah, a steak. Right. That's crazy. You know, I think you could still find stuff on the menu for like $22 or something. So, yeah, pretty expensive, but not like top, top tier. Yeah, not like- um, but still, way more than I ever want to spend on eating. But so I did. You know, I took her out for like Valentine's Day or something. And uh, it was fire. But Is that a good burger? The stuff I was about to order... Um, no, I didn't. I didn't get a burger. I got like some pork sandwich that they literally had had the pig in the back that they got it off of. Like they didn't have a pig living back there, but they brought a dead pig in. They were. <laughs> cutting chunks, cutting chunks off his motherfucker. <laughs> bro, you better kill that pig, bro. Oh my god, that's not what I meant, but that's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I tried some. (laughs) Anyway, I tried some stuff I never would have tried in my life. I wanted, you know, it's it's one of those restaurants where you can't ask them to take shit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'd be fucked. Like, bro, if I'm at if I'm at a Mexican restaurant, you know, just a regular ass Mexican restaurant, I'm like, yeah, no sour cream, bro. You know, or uh, yeah. If no, I'm at no a, guacamole. Or if I'm at an American restaurant, I'd be like, don't put them pickles on my shit. You know what I'm saying? We used to fuck with you at pickles, bro. I know. But this this place, you don't you don't you don't disrespect the chef. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't come with the chef talking about take the arugula off. Yeah. Because he's not gonna be like, you tell him to leave. The chef be like, he got to go. 
He don't want hey, he don't want it with the arugula, then he don't want yeah. he don't want anything to do like with my art. People he's, get he's disrespecting my art. You get steak and you ain't allowed to have steak sauce. <laughs> like nah, bro, you can't do that here. Yeah. Um You got ketchup? Bro, I'll eat this fucking steak with some ketchup straight up. Shout out to Linda Tucker, Ponderosa. <laughs> That's legal now. Yeah, cut she would cut it up for me and uh give me a little thing of ketchup. Absolutely. And I'll eat it. Hey, whatever that's, that's like a look down upon now Yeah whatever Can't Shit. have Wo- Worcestershire or whatever. whatever However you say that Give me all the A1 knowledge A1 it, It's good I like it all too Like I appreciate it It I like tastes it good I like it all Miss me with that Miss me with that uh, grill snob shit. Yeah. With that meat snob shit. Oh, you got to cook it just right. Yep. You got to get the, the juices. You got to have the right amount of pink in it. Man, get out of here with that crap. I eat it the way I want. I eat it exactly how I want it, and it tastes good every way. Don't worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> My taste buds are happy right yeah, now. Right? Put all the ketchup on the steak that I want. Your way isn't the only way. Your way sucks. Right. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't know where I was going with that either. Um. How you? Oh, trying shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I tried this thing at uh at that restaurant, and it was fire. Will it had all these different flavors going on? It was literally the best thing I ate I've ever eaten. And I knew in that second, I was like, shit just changed for me. I'm about to try everything. Like I just fucked up. Yeah. I'm gonna try everything. I There's just nothing opened, opened up my palate. Yeah, for sure. And Katie is a huge reason that has happened. She slowly introduces shit on me. Now, dude, we went to this Italian restaurant the other day. Um, Porcini, uh, Vincenzo's. We went to Vincenzo's uh, for her birthday. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, dude, it was so fire. Like, the dude came out. He was, like, talking about uh, a special appetizer that they had. And... It had 17 things in it. He went through all the ingredients that I never would have thought I would have ever tried. Okay, I'm talking mushrooms. I'm talking crazy shit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm already out. I'm, yeah, when he says mushrooms, you're out, right? Right? Yeah. Bro, I was crushing it. It was so good. <laughs> I just trusted him. I was like, you know what? This is what you do. This is a nice restaurant. These people, These people are artists. These people are back here really like this isn't like going to get a Yeah. Um This isn't Fazoli's. Yeah, or 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 just you know, this isn't like going to get a hamburger from like a from a uh from Chex. Yeah. You know, I know what I'm getting when I get a hamburger from Chex. It's not it's gourmet. Like, yeah. This this is like a chef like legit Yeah, this dude went to college. This dude went to school. And like his blint dude, bro, it was so good. Everything I had was amazing. And I have no idea what it even was. Yeah. I couldn't tell you. What all went in it. Dudes out there trying to tell me what what, what they put in it. Or, I mean, the name of the dish. I'm like, I. No clue. Just bring it out here. Yeah. I heard you say sausage. I'm good with that. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I'm ready, I'm ready to, like, travel and taste food everywhere. Yeah, that'd be I, dope, bro. I just want to taste food. I'd like to eat, I food, eat food from another country. Me too. I want to go get all the best shit. Let me let me try all of it. I'm still I'm still working towards that. What do you mean? Like I'm still like Amanda will be like here try this and my immediate reaction is no no yeah and you, then she'll force me. <clears throat> That's why I mean I love that she's like that. Yeah. She doesn't she calls me on my bullshit. What you need to do this is what you need. Like no no I ain't gonna like it. Let and me, she's like you don't even know. Yeah let me catch you up because you're years behind me in this yeah. department. Yeah. Okay. I know it's easier said than done, especially with having a, a newborn or, or not a newborn anymore, but a, a, a small baby. But eventually, y'all will be able to go out to eat, which I know you still do. I saw you the other day somewhere eating something, mm-hmm. didn't you? I seen you post a snap or something or a picture of, or she yeah. posted a picture of you. You guys were eating Mexican or something. Yeah, we be eating. Yeah, so go out more. Try different places more. Like experiment with different cuisine. Like, you know what I'm doing now? I'm, I just use the word cuisine. I'm looking at the cuisine. Of of restaurants and shit on uh, 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 what is it? Not one of these food apps, Bing or something, Yelp or something. You know, I, I'm looking at uh, restaurants or TripAdvisor. In, in I'm just looking at our own town and yeah. blah, 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 for the best restaurants and like you can edit it between the cuisine. You can do all kinds of stuff. I want to try some French cuisine. Yeah, 
I want some French food. And I have no idea what to expect, but I want it. And I told her about it the other day. There's a, a few French ra- restaurants around here that I'm interested in. <laughs> Go try it. I don't even know what the fuck French food is. I don't either, but I know I know that I bet it's fire. Yeah. I see people enjoying it. Is it macaroni French? What? Macaroni? <laughs> I think it's French, bro. No, it's not. I swear to God, bro. I think it came from Look Europe. that shit up. It came from Italy or something. Man. It did not like pasta came from Italy. I don't think it's pasta. Macaroni? Yeah. You don't think macaroni's pasta? It's I a mean, shell? It's huh? <laughs> we'll see where it came from. Where did it originate? <laughs> oh my god, you're killing me. Probably Venice and was transported to France by sailors where it further refined oh. by French patissier techniques. Okay. So but further refined. It's Italy and France. But let's be honest with you, how complicated is it? It's just a shell with cheese on it. I could have in, I could have invented macaroni if you give me just show me cheese and show me pasta, you're about to get some macaroni. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At so some good. point just, What's crazy It's just shells and cheese But how good is it Dude I'll, I'll be upstairs Like throwing the Panay noodles in there I'll open the fridge up I'm dumping I'll throw a little so salt good. In that bitch I'll throw some butter in there I'll throw some uh, Parmesan Some Parmesan Shredded cheese mm-hmm. And then I'll Then I'll hit that bitch With some With some powdered Parmesan <laughs> You know what else I do I'll cut up a bunch Of steamed broccoli And throw it in there Mix it all I up I love broccoli now Oh my god It's fire Like, like I love broccoli With my it fat, literally fettuccine it literally is a probably a five dollar total worth of stuff. Maybe not even that, and it feeds the whole family. Oh yeah, uh, all five of us. And they love it. It is so good. I want some right now. You make a little bread with it. Hmm. That's my weakness. I hope we're probably making a lot of people hungry right yeah, now. Yeah, right. They're gonna be at White Castle eating. Yeah, eat some White Castle for me, man. Eat some White Castle for us, y'all. We need it. <laughs> all right. Well. You got anything else? I mean, we still got a lot, but we can go we'll yeah, save some. Yeah, we're at one twenty-one. I'm trying to keep these things listenable. You know, mm-hmm. keep the people wanting more. You know, instead of uh, just overloading them. Yeah, we don't need three hours anymore. Yeah, we don't. But I'm not ruling it out that no. we can't go two and a half hours, which we have plenty of time. I think we did do three hours on our uh, on one of them recently, or not recently, but one of the recent podcasts. Yeah, I wonder what the longest one is. I think, I think we'll we'll figure that out. Let's figure that out when I'm uploading this one here in a minute. Let's look and see what the longest ones are. But man, I think it's a good way to get out. Uh, thank you as always. Yep. Um, you know how to follow us. Um, Tuck Music at Gmail is my personal email account. I love hearing from people. Uh, you can hit me up on a. You can hit me up anywhere. I'm gonna see it. But you know, I post all the episodes. On my personal Facebook page and my Instagram page, um, and all of our Speaking Easy podcast pages with an apost with a no G in the word speaking, but an apostrophe. Um, if you, you make any comments on anything, uh, and you engage with us in any way, I'll shout you out. I'll include you any way I can, uh, and suggestions are always welcome because you know we like doing this and. The last show a lot of people listened to, the last two that we did since we've been back, you know, it was kind of just dipping our toe back in the water, getting a gauge for uh, the support that we still had. And, man, I'm actually kind of shocked by it. I'm uh, surprised by it. I wouldn't Mm -hmm. say shocked. I'm surprised that there were, and, you know, I saw numerous times of people like, yo, I'm so glad y'all are back. Let me keep making episodes, please. Uh, I need this in my life. Uh, So... We hear you. Yeah, we hear you. And it, it does it does help get them done because, you know, we did hit a long spell there where we didn't do them at all. And yeah. I wasn't thinking about it that much. You know, it was always in the back of my mind. But now that we started doing them again, I'm constantly thinking about. Yeah, it's fun again. It's fun. I'm like having fun with it. And this whole not having video thing and being able to set up literally in one or two minutes has really changed the game for me, but I'm not ruling the video out. I'm not. Yeah, every I now still and again we it. can. I still miss it. Yeah, I still. We got miss some a uh, couple interesting surprises coming. Yeah, 
Where we might do some fun podcasts where it's not like yeah. our typical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll switch it up on you here real soon. Like real, real soon is possibility. And you'll you'll see what that means. Um, Will, where can they follow you at? Uh, Will Walk 2. Mm-hmm. You want, you want to give out your personal email? Or yeah, you? I think I already, uh, it's williamwalk8 at gmail.com. There you go. Hit, hit Will up because you know Will has a different perspective on things. He's uh, much more invested and understands this whole Ukraine situation. Yeah, as so, much as anybody, but not really. As much as the average guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're just the average dude. We're still stupid and on I, most subjects. I definitely don't know anything about nothing. Yeah, we're not, we're not experts on anything. Uh, But, you know. He's an expert on music. I'm an expert on baseball. That's about uh, as far yeah. as we go. Yeah, and the Buff- Buffalo Bills. Yeah, right. So you, you know way more than the average person on the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. But, man, you know, I guess prayers and, and uh, thoughts to Ukraine because yeah, that shit sucks. That shit's whack. Um, be, be fucking thankful that your life is the way it is right now. It could yeah. be a lot worse. Yeah, it really could. So just uh, hope everybody is healthy. And I don't really have much more to say other than thank you for all the support. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Oh, one more thing. YouTube. If you listen on YouTube, shout out to you. Leave a message in the comments or something. I know it's just a thumbnail you're looking at, but we see you. Uh, you don't see us. Appreciate that. And um, spread the word. Spread the word about yep. the podcast. Speaking y'all. easy. Yeah, that's... Just spread the word. Tell a person. Tell a per- if you're at work. Tell a person next to you. Tell a person. You know, bring. If you start talking about podcasts, recommend it. Tell them we're just a bunch of idiots that like to have fun. Yep. Drink a little bit. That's what I always get say. you through your shift. Like, what do you do? Like, we just drink and talk shit. Yeah. You know, someone was saying that we help get them through their work day. Yeah. That's huge, man. Because I listen to podcasts and do the same exact thing. Me too. It helps me get through my day. Like when I'm just needing to be busy. Yep. I have something going on. I got a long drive happening. Throw the podcast in, man. It, it's, I don't know. It kind of takes your mind off of reality for a yeah, minute. It helps yeah. my week when I see a long yeah. podcast. I know I can binge. Yep. So, so yeah, we're going to keep them coming, y'all. I'm going to try, we're going to try to get back to once a week. That might be a tall task for us, but, you know, definitely a couple a month, if not three a month. But in my opinion, Will. We need to get back to once a week. I liked it when we were consistent with that. I think I think if we could hit them, you know, once a week, it would really kind of. Yeah. I think nowadays it's a little easier since the whole COVID thing. Yeah. Scratch that itch, you know. We're going to start calling people. I can ramble forever. Yep. You know what? Love you. See you. Thank you. Peace.